Rust allows us to attach functions to a struct. There are two types of functions that we can declare on a struct, associated functions and methods. Associated functions operate on the type. In other programming languages, this is called a static method, and methods operate on an instance of a type. Let's see some examples. To declare both an associated function and methods, you'll need to start with the keyword info, and then followed by the struct point. So let's start by creating a static method. For example, let's create a static method that will create a point where x and y are both equal to zero. Say fn, I'll name this function zero, it takes in no inputs, and then it's gonna create this point struct. Here you can say point, or another way you can say it is self with a capital S. Here this self refers to this point. And then we can say self create self with the x field equal to 0, 0, 0.0, since it is a float, and the y also equal to 0, 0.0. Okay, so this is a static method. It operates on the type, and it creates a new instance of the struct point. How about methods? Methods operate on an instance of a type. So once you have an instance of a struct, once you initialize a struct, now you can call some methods on this struct. Let's create a function that will update the x and y coordinate of this struct. Let's say fn, let's call this move to. And then it's gonna take a mutable reference to self. Here, self refers to an instance of this point. And then the new coordinates x of type f32 and y also of type f32. Okay, and then to update the coordinate, we'll say self.x. Here, self refers to the instance of this point struct and set it equal to the new value of x. We'll do the same for y. Here we passed in a mutable reference, but it doesn't have to be a mutable reference. It can be a read-only reference. So for example, fn, let's create a function that will calculate the distance of this point from the origin 0, 0. Say, let's call this function dist. It's gonna take in self. And notice, it doesn't have the mutable keyword. This point will be immutable. We will not be able to update the data that is contained inside this struct. And then it will return, let's say, f32. To calculate the distance from the origin, we'll have to say self.x multiplied by itself, self.x plus self.y multiplied by self.y, and then take the square root, dot sqrt. So these are some examples of methods and associated functions. Let's write some code to execute these code inside the main function. So to initialize a point, let's use this associated function, zero, which will create a point at the x coordinate zero and the y coordinate also equal to zero. Say that p is equal to point colon colon zero. Once we have the instance of a point, next I want to call the function move to. Since we're gonna be mutating the fields x and y, let's redeclare this point as a mutable struct. And then call the function p dot, let's say move to. Let's move the x coordinate to 2.0 and the y coordinate to 1.0. Let's also print these out, say print ln, and then we'll do the same after we move as well. After we move, let's also calculate the distance from the origin. Let d is equal to p dot dist, and then print the distance out, print ln, distance. Okay, let's execute this code. Inside my terminal, I'll type cargo run dash dash bin struct method. Okay, and we get point initialized as x equal to zero, y equal to zero. And then after it moves, we have the x equal to 2.0, y equal to 1.0, and then the distance from the origin is roughly 2.23. So these are some examples of how to declare a method on a struct and how to create associated functions on a struct.